Hey there guys, it's me Noah, and welcome back to my channel Travel Geek. In today's video, we'll look into the Royal Caribbean's Oasis of the Seas. But before we cruise, consider subscribing to our channel Travel Geek and hit the bell icon for more travel related content. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. Royal Caribbean is one of the world's largest cruise companies. It offers cruises to destinations worldwide, including Europe, the Caribbean, the Mediterranean, Asia, and Central America. Their ships cater to a wide range of guests, from families and young couples to group singles and seniors. Royal Caribbean International holds the spot of all top five largest cruise ships ever. The Oasis of the Seas is one of the largest ships ever built, and it set sail on its maiden voyage with more than 6,200 guests on board. It was a defining moment in cruise history, and guests from all over the world snapped up tickets to board the megaship. Over the years, Oasis of the Seas has become an icon of the cruise industry, and it continues to inspire awe and curiosity from guests of all ages. The vessel was ordered in February 2006, with construction beginning a year later at STX Europe's Turku shipyard. The cruise was launched in 2008 after almost two years of standby at sea. This cruise is the first and only class of cruise ships to feature a retractable roof at sea. Oasis of the Seas measures 361.6 meters in overall length, 72 meters in height above the waterline, and 22.55 meters in depth, while it has a total weight of 226,000 tons. This ship features a large atrium in the central portion of the ship. The atrium is surrounded by shops and restaurants and is where the ship's atrium pool is located. The Oasis of the Seas also features a large water park with a wave pool, a lazy river, and plenty of slides bringing new meaning to the term Adventure Ocean Cruise with over 18 underwater adventure experiences, including a submarine, virtual reality station, shark cage ride, and more. This ocean sanctuary will also host a full-service wellness center and casino in ship. Oasis of the Seas has 18 decks, which means that there are many places to explore and things to do on board. You'll find everything from quiet lounges to lively dance clubs when you sail on the Oasis. You can explore an incredible variety of exciting destinations. Each deck is unique in its own way, offering something different to experience. Oasis of the Seas has set a record for the most expensive cruise ever built. It cost a whopping $1.4 billion to build. That's more than twice as much as the previous placeholder, Harmony of the Seas, which cost $800 million when it was built in 2016. Oasis of the Seas is designed to offer the best possible vacation experience, no matter where in the world it is sailing. This cruise has undergone a significant renovation in 2019. It included a series of new larger staterooms, an entirely new kids area, and an increase in the number of specialty restaurants. However, the biggest change to the ship is the transformation into an adult-only paradise, a water park, kid zone, and rock climbing wall, and an ice skating rink. With that, our video has come to an end here. What do you guys think about the Oasis of the Seas and its opulence? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. I always love to read your comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Travel Geek and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of our videos. We'll catch you guys on the next one real soon. Goodbye.